G'day all. I bought this uh, flame liquor vacuum engine off eBay. Uh, they're pretty common. Nothing real special about it. Um, it arrived yesterday. I said I wasn't going to buy any more Chinese engines because of the the quality that comes out of them and uh, I don't know I hit the buy button but uh, this could be my last one I said that there's nothing special about this one but actually in fact unless they all come out like this there is something special about this one just have a look if the camera's picking this up just move this just have a look at that that's about what, 8 mil there get into the bottom that's it's about 11 mil you can just see you can see that running out here that's the that holds the petrol tank oh, not petrol tank that holds the metho tank okay that had a plastic wide washer there took that off turned up a bit of brass for in there mounted it on the hardwood that I usually use for all my engines natural wood you can see a bit of softness there that's hard there all the stuff came out there but anyway as we say it's natural wood nicely routed some brass screws holding it down but uh, yeah all in all it just it just it, I don't know if it, how much more work it needs on it I think it needs some smoothing out in places because it's rough but we'll give it a run just fill up a syringe with some metho I made that. It, what it comes with is just a an aluminium bung or plug that just literally sits on there, just as loose as buggery. Like you can just move it around. So I ran a tap down. There was enough meat on this metho tank to spirit tank to run a tap down, and uh, I just turned that little thumb screw on the lathe and uh, drilled a air vent hole for it. Anyway, so we'll get that, fill this up. Filled up. Drop a bit in there. Okay, just put the cap on the metho so we don't have a bonfire in my steam room. Light it up. Just adjust that, just turn the light off and you can you see that? Move it over a bit. Oh. Nope. 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 Okay. I think this is like a lot of vacuum engines, flame engines flame liquor engines what I've noticed if they don't start first go if you look in there in the, in the um, chamber you'll see condensation and then the only way to get them started then is to preheat this if they don't that's what I found anyway if they don't start straight away you instantly get condensation especially if it's a humid day and it's a humid day here in Australia you instantly get um, condensation build up inside that chamber and I think you can turn them as much as you want and they're not going to start. The only way to do it is to, simple like that, preheat it. Or less effective is to just leave that there for a while, which I really don't like doing. But um, put that there, give it one more go. No. Just take that off and just... 
don't like doing this either really well I fell for it again Chinese engine I've stayed far so far and I haven't bought one of the um, hit and miss engines I've been close but uh, I really don't know if I want to get into petrol engines steam and sterling are what I like and flame engines and uh, I think I'll try my best not to start buying the little hit and miss engines that are coming out of China I like watching them run but I just don't know if petrol engines are for me ok we'll just try that and I'll see if that's done anything move it, move it over there ok it looks like that's got it doesn't bounce around now on the wood very temperamental where you have that I, I'm talking half a millimetre makes a difference that flywheel's wonky that one runs uh, sort of true but this one's wonky both pretty wonky With some brass screws and washers it's uh, I've got to say it's a quite a nice looking engine there's a there's a bit of a gap I don't know if you're picking up there's a bit of a gap right there where the chamber sits on this mounting um, up right here and there's only there's only this top screw that top screw there is the only thing that's holding this on there's no bottom screw down there now I've seen um, Alan from Retro Steam he's put a second screw down there by drilling and tapping I think that could be a um, a good thing to do how, how they work there's just there's a cam there you can see the cam goes over hits that roller that roller comes down here there's an axle going through there operates that spring which pulls that lever up and down and that lever up and down this is a very thin sort of like a brass shim just makes that brass shim go up and down which opens and closes there and depending where you've got this sucks the flame in and there you go all right, let's see if it starts again easy now. Okay, there we have it. Chinese flame liquor vacuum engine.
flame gulper. You can work out what the best thing to call it. I'll use interchangeable all those three. But um, yeah, is it a nice engine? Yep, it certainly looks good. And uh, anybody visiting me will definitely, their eye will be drawn to it. Is it the best built engine? No. But it, it look, it's good. These aren't brass. These look like that. I'm pretty much 100% sure they're anodized aluminium. That's an anodized aluminium as well. This is actually, this is Perspex. The main base is, is just uh, black and red Perspex. Uh, the engine's then mounted on another um, black Perspex riser with a, a thin piece of steel there. All cap screws holding it together. Alright, probably getting sick of me talking. But the, this is faux, this is absolutely nothing. I did drill a hole in there so it looks like it does something, but it, it does absolutely nothing. But fake exhaust. Um, I think I've covered everything. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. Bye now.